A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a remarkable development, a New Zealand pilot held captive in the Papua region of Indonesia for over a year has been released by separatist rebels. Philip Mark Mertens, age 38 and originally from Christchurch, was abducted on February 7, 2023, while working for Suzy Air, an Indonesian aviation company. The announcement of his release came from Indonesian authorities on Saturday, marking a significant moment in a long and tense negotiation process. Mertens was handed over to the Cartons Peace Task Force, a joint security unit established by the Indonesian government to address the ongoing separatist movements in Papua. According to Bayu Susino, the spokesperson for the task force, Mertens was allowed to walk free in the early hours of Saturday morning and was found in good health in the Yuguru village of Nduga district. Following his release, he was airlifted to the town of Tamika for further medical and psychological assessments. The initial abduction was carried out by independence fighters led by Egianis Kagoya, regional commander in the Free Papua Movement. The rebels stormed a single-engine plane on a small runway in Paro, taking Mertens hostage in a bid to draw attention to their cause for independence amid a deteriorating security situation in the region. Papua, a former Dutch colony, has a distinct ethnic and cultural identity that differs significantly from the rest of Indonesia. The region was incorporated into Indonesia in 1969 through a United Nations-sponsored ballot that has since been widely criticized as a sham. Since that time, Papua has been the site of a low-level insurgency that has intensified over the years, with a marked increase in violence recently. Conflict has spiked, resulting in the deaths of dozens of rebels, security forces, and civilians. Initially, Kagoya had stated that the rebels would not release Meritans unless the Indonesian government recognized Papua's sovereignty. However, a shift occurred last week when leaders of the West Papua Liberation Army, the armed wing of the Free Papua Movement, proposed terms for his release that included media involvement. Susino noted that Meritans' release was the result of extensive efforts from a small task force team that communicated with the separatists through local church and community leaders, as well as youth figures. This is incredibly good news, Susino stated in a video message. Efforts to free the pilot through a soft approach resulted in a hostage release without any casualties, both from security forces, civilians, or the pilot himself. New Zealand's Foreign Minister Winston Peters confirmed Mertens' release after 592 days in captivity. We are pleased and relieved to confirm that Philip Mertens is safe and well and has been able to talk with his family. Peters expressed in a written statement. He emphasized that this news would be an enormous relief for Mertens's friends and loved ones. Peters revealed that a wide range of New Zealand government agencies had been collaborating with Indonesian authorities and others to secure the release over the past 19 months. The New Zealand government has also been providing support to Mertens's family during this challenging time. Peters praised the media for showing cooperation and restraint in reporting the ongoing situation. The case has taken a toll on the Mertens family, who have asked for privacy, he added. We ask media outlets to respect their wishes, and therefore we have no further comment at this stage. During his captivity, it was reported that Mertens was one of several expatriate pilots employed by Suzy Air, and he had been living in Bali with his family prior to the abduction. Peters described the release as one of the better stories he has encountered in his 45 years as a lawmaker expressing his relief that Mertens would soon be reunited with his family. He noted that Mertens was currently in Tamika but would be traveling to Jakarta very soon. The release of Mertens comes amidst a backdrop of violence in Papua, where armed separatists have increasingly targeted Indonesian military forces in attempts to assert their independence. In April 2023, an attack by armed separatists on Indonesian troops deployed for the rescue of Mertens resulted in the deaths of at least six soldiers. Additionally, in August, gunmen attacked a helicopter, killing its New Zealand pilot, Glenn Malcolm Conning, after it landed in a remote village in central Papua province. The responsibility for that attack remains unclaimed, with both rebels and Indonesian authorities blaming each other for the violence. Historically, the Free Papua movement has engaged in kidnappings and violence to further its goals. In 1996, the group abducted 26 members of a World Wildlife Fund research mission, resulting in the deaths of two kidnapped Indonesians and the release of the remaining hostages five months later. 
The release of Philip Mertens marks a significant moment in the ongoing struggle for independence in Papua, highlighting the complexities of negotiations and the challenges faced by both the Indonesian government and separatist groups. As the situation in Papua continues to evolve, the release of Mertens is a beacon of hope for families affected by the ongoing conflict. The successful negotiation for his release without casualties demonstrates the potential for dialogue and peaceful resolution in a region that has long been marred by violence and strife. The cooperation between local leaders, government agencies, and international partners underscores the importance of community involvement in conflict resolution. In conclusion, the release of Philip Mark Mertens after 592 days in captivity is a significant development that reflects the ongoing tensions in Papua and the efforts made by various stakeholders to resolve the situation peacefully. As he prepares to reunite with his family, the focus now shifts to the broader implications of this event for the future of Papua and its quest for autonomy. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.